I remember when I was four, and I was sitting on the living room floor playing with those jumbo-sized mega blocks, and Auntie Shigufta from number 10 came over. She watched me playing for a while before she asked me that dreadful question. Beta, what is your favorite color? I had not yet understood the concept of favorites, and so I just started listing all the colors I liked. My favorite is blue, and green, and yellow is my favorite. And as I was marveling at this beautiful palette of massive Legos in front of me, Auntie Shigufta from number 10 cut me off. Bitte, how can it be blue, and green, and yellow? You have to choose one only, so Bitte, what is your favorite color? Now, by this point, it was just too much pressure, and my brain went into overdrive, and I was like, ah, I don't know. I don't know what my favorite color is. And she's like, What do you mean? You don't know, beta. You have to know. What is your favorite color? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm four. I don't know what my favorite color is. And we went back and forth and back and forth until finally my mom came in with some tea and distracted her. Needless to say, Auntie Shigufta was not my favorite auntie. Fast forward 14 years. Me and my family are sitting around the dinner table. We have this beautiful tradition in my family that nobody eats alone. We all gather around the table and eat together, as a family, while we watch TV, and nobody speaks. However, this day was different. There was a particular tension in the air concerning my recent decision to drop out of high school and move to New York to become an actor. My dad was not pleased. Acting, huh? What is this acting acting? Do you know ke how many talented people are never successful? And who made you think even that you are talented? Bloody. Acting karni hai. Insaan banani actor banne. And so on. Much like most of the kids in my family and community, I was destined for a career in medicine. If I wasn't smart enough for that, it was law. Failing that, engineering. Of course, if I didn't make it to any of these three, I was to be put on a plane. This was understood, and all of us kids knew what that meant. However, I felt like I was too young and not particularly eager to marry my cousin. To marry my cousin. To marry my cousin. And I was not willing to spend the rest of my life squatting when I went to the toilet. So, I fought my case. Or more like, I got shot down. After going around in circles about what we would tell people, what Auntie Shigufta would say, who would ever want to give their daughter to me, and so on, my parents did raise some valid concerns. There's no financial stability, an education is something to fall back on, etc. I just said, I don't know, but I want this. And if I put my heart into it, it'll take me where I need to be. My dad still couldn't get on board, but my mom listened, and eventually she got me to acting school. Fast forward some more. I'm at a Wendy's somewhere in New Jersey on a road trip with my uncle. So, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know. I'm not actually entirely sure, but what do you mean you're not sure? You're not a kid anymore. When are you going to grow up? 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 To give some contextual validity to his questions, this is after a few years of me not having gone to a single acting audition, a stop-start and now retired music career, and a not-so-lucrative stint as a spoken word artist. I shut down. I didn't know what to say because the truth is I don't know. I have spent my entire life being told that part of growing up is knowing exactly what you want to do, as if what you do is synonymous with who you are. I spent so long feeling ashamed of my presence, insecure and afraid that someone might ask the dreaded question, so what do you want to do when you grow up? I just want to be me. Like I really want to be good at being me. And yes, being true to myself might not pay the bills, but it'll help me find a way to do so. I'm convinced. I guess the point is, it's okay to not know all the time. And it's okay to say you don't know. And as you grow up, you realize that nobody really knows how their life will turn out. Everybody just kind of makes it up as they go along. A 28-year-old MBA graduate working for an investment bank might have her career and finances very much in check, 
but she might suck at relationships. On the other hand, a 42-year-old stand-up comedian still waiting on his first HBO special might have to keep hitting the road to make ends meet. But then he might have a phenomenal relationship with his children. Maybe if Auntie Shagufta spent less time focusing on instilling her ideas of what was good and important in others, she'd realize that there is a lot more to learn from a four-year-old than there is to teach them. Maybe if my dad wasn't so focused on my grades, he'd see that one of my biggest inspirations is him. That he is the most intriguing person I've ever known and my poems are still trying to figure him out. Maybe if my uncle wasn't so set on his understanding of success, he'd see that not all roads are straight and that a windy path may still lead to the same destination. Some people are just as invested in the sights along the way as they are the end of the journey. And not everybody enjoys highway driving all the time. So I guess the moral of the story is you don't always have to know your favorite color. You don't. And you don't have to know exactly what you're going to do or how it's going to turn out. Just work on figuring out what you believe and what you love and give yourself completely to whatever you give your time to. As long as you're going somewhere, you will get somewhere. And if you find in 10 years time that you still don't really know what you want to do when you grow up, it's okay. Neither does anybody else. However, just work on figuring out what you love and what you believe. What is you? Sometimes I just like to, I like to articulate myself and really feel better. 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 Better, how can it be blue and green and yellow? You have to choose one only. So, beta, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Beta? Beta. Beta. What is your favorite color? So, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? So, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? So, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? So, uh, so, uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? Beta. Beta. Beta, what is your favorite color? Beta. What do you mean you don't know, beta? You have to know what is your favorite color. What do you mean you don't know, beta? You have to know what is your favorite. You have to. You just have to know what is your favorite color. If I said beta. 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 Beta.